So then, here we go for a very, very special match. It's the Battle Royal, and here we go. That's Dave Taylor entering the ring. We'll explain the rules to you in a minute. Tony Sinclair from Red Ruth in Cornwall. Next in the ring, Drew McDonald. We saw him earlier. Coming in to do battle, El Bandito, Oreg Williams. Here comes Skull Murphy, the indestructible bundle of energy from Plymouth. Marty Jones enters the ring. Robbie Hagan follows. Terry Rudge, the shaven head dynamo from Dunstable. There he is. Chick Cullen. Robbie Brookside, the heavy middleweight champion from Liverpool. Danny Collins enters the ring next. The superstar from Bristol. Gary Cluid from Wales. Kid McCoy from Keithley in Yorkshire. And a super match we saw him earlier on. And of course, if he's here, Johnny Saints here as well. It really is a Royal Rumble. There goes the bell. Royal Rumble, King of the Ring, Battle Royal, you can call it what you like. The rules are simple. The 14 men start this match. There are no rules. The only conditions is there's only one way to be eliminated, and that's to be thrown or placed over the top rope. And if you get thrown out through the other rope, underneath or through, you can climb straight back in again. The only way to be eliminated is to be placed or thrown over the rope. That's the way the match is won. There are no other conditions. Last man standing is the winner. So here we go. Britain's finest wrestlers in absolute mayhem and madness here. And everybody on to everyone else. Friend against friend, foe against foe. That's Marty Jones trying to get Skull Murphy out. Chick Cullen goes to the assistants. That's Gary Cloyd. He's gone. Gary Clifford is out already. There's Marty. Marty Jones in the background. Johnny Saints. That's Drew McDonald. I'm sure there are a few people who'd like to see him leave very quickly. No other rules. No public warnings. You can do what you like as long as you go over the top rope. And there nearly goes Rob Brookside. And there he does go. Brookside is out. Absolute mayhem here. Really is a free for all. This super royal rumble. That's Tony Sinclair. And he's nearly out. Danny Collins on the shoulders of Marty Jones and Dave Taylor gets trapped there. That's Robbie Hagan and Oric Williams. Well, if they're not careful, it's a shoulder charge from someone, and the whole lot could go there. Have you ever seen anything like this in all your life? Anything is possible. So now, who's going out next on this battle royal? There's Marty Jones again, and he's close to the rope. That's Danny Collins, almost depositing him out. Could be good night, Vienna, for Marty Jones. No. Should have shoulder charged him out there. Now they can Drew McDonald hang on. And the crowd here absolutely screaming. That's Dave Taylor with that super power lift. One of the toughest, roughest men in the heavyweights. Knocked down by Skull Murphy. Forearm smashes there from Drew McDonald. There goes Chip Cullen. He really was the flying Scott there. Who's going to win this Royal Rumble? I think your guess is as good as mine. And that's nearly Dave Taylor out. Tony Sinclair and Terry Rudge with a tussle. And a full Nelson at the back. And Tony Sinclair in real trouble here. Tony Sinclair right on the brink of going out. Hanging on to that top rope. He really is. On a hairline there, just saved. Oh, 
Well, the Welsh favourite, Ulrich Williams, is still with us. Meanwhile, down the back, Skull Murphy is trying to knock out Dave Taylor. Marty Jones comes to the rescue there. Absolute bedlam going on in the ring here. I can't see Skull Murphy falling for that one. And anyway, Terry Rogers there to pull him off. You can see how the rule vendors stick together against the Blue Eye Boys. It'll be interesting to see when we get down to the last two or three what happens. Well, the fatigue starts to creep in in a minute with all this action going on. You can see there's a few tired bodies in the ring now. There goes Kid McCoy. That's the end of his night. So he goes back to the dressing room. So just over half a dozen wrestlers left in the ring. We started with 14, we're down to about seven. Johnny Saints shoulder charges Robbie Hagan. And good night, Vienna. Terry Rudge has gone as well. So then it becomes a little bit easier to see what's going on. A backbreaker, Marty Jones. Suspended in the air with the strength of Skull Murphy of Plymouth. That's Marty Jones from Oldham. That's the Marty end Jones. of his home. There goes Skull Murphy, put up by Oleg Williams of Wales. El Bandito, there he is. And there he goes. So Oreg Williams of Wales takes an early bath. Uh, they can't continue the match outside. The match can only be won inside the ring. So now, Tony Sinclair, Dave Taylor, Robbie Hagan, Drew McDonald, and Danny Collins are left to contend this Royal Rumble. That's Dave Taylor from Bradford. He leaves. So now, who have we got left? Action with a capital A here now. Yes, you see the tactics now pay for the two blue-eyed boys, Danny Collins and Tony Sinclair against Robbie Hagan and Drew McDonald with Scott's Garden from Perth. Only one can win, and the one that's left is the man that's the winner. Ah, super move, tag team style there. The old tag team tricks coming in. And I can see from ringside a number of the wrestlers are still with us. Oleg Williams is near me now. He wants to find out who's going to win. He hasn't gone back to the dressing room. Lovely switch. Yes. That's a dangerous thing to do, Tony Sinclair. You could be topped over, and he is, yes. Tony Sinclair out of the match. So it's left now to Danny Collins to fly the flag of classy wrestling against Robbie Hagan in the Cerise. And Drew McDonald, and he catches McDonald straight in the face with a forearm smash. And he's not going to be a happy man. So here we go, it's a case of two against one, but anything goes, and this battle royal, we started with 14, we're now done, down to three. Double clothesline. Danny certainly knows how much that felt. Tries it again, he's not going to work the second time, oh yes! Another super clothesline. And there goes 
Eugene McDonald. Mad Mac has gone. So now the final. Robbie Hagan ravishing Robbie Hagan as he likes to be known against Danny Collins of Bristol. This is the final of this special King of the Ring. And Collins means business. No more shaking hands. There's all the wrestlers you can see gathered round ringside to see the final. And tries that leg drop and misses by a mile. That's a very uh, risky move there, Danny. No, it pays off. Well, ringside goes mad. The people here. This is the chance. This is the no. And the crowd here in Wales, willing Danny Collins on against Robbie Hagan. Lying close line from the corner. Now he thinks he's got it all sewn up, and I must say it looks bad for Danny Collins. Ravishing Robbie Hagan, definitely taking over this match. He looks like he'll go another 20 minutes or so, but Danny looks in trouble. Oh no! He was falling us all. Danny Collins takes it to super drop kick. Out goes Robbie Hagen, the winner. Danny Boy Collins. And it looks like it's not over yet. Safely deposited outside. The winner of the Royal Rumble, there he is, Danny Collins.